those hands together for the King of Glory. Put those hands together for the King of Glory. Put those hands together for the King of Glory. The one who is, the one who is to come. Bless his name, somebody. Bless the name of the Lord. Thank him for life. Thank him for life. Thank him for waking you up today. Thank him for your going out. Thank him for your coming in. Thank him. He is the ancient of days. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we honor you. Lord, we give you glory. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Mighty man of war. Lion of Judah. We bow down and worship you. Yahweh. Yahweh. Come and do what only this evening is the reason why we're here tonight we bow down and worship you yeah Yahweh the one who make all things possible Somebody sing Yahweh, 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 come and do what only you can do. Somebody sing Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Father, we bless you. Come and do what only you can do. Only you can do what no man can do. The one who opens a door and no one can shut it. The one who speaks and no one can reverse. Lord, come and do what only you can do. Only you can save. Only you can heal. Only you can deliver. Come and do what only you can do. Lord, come and have your way in this service, Lord. Holy Spirit, have your way. Holy Spirit, have your way. The great and mighty God, have your way. Adonai, have your way. Ancient of days, have your way. Come and do what only you can do. Lord, we thank you. We bless you, Lord. Thank you for another privilege to gather here in your house to lift up holy hands in worship. Lord, I pray our worship may be acceptable in your sight tonight. Lord Almighty, cleanse us of every sin. 
Cleanse us from every form of unrighteousness. Anything that will hinder our prayers tonight. Lord, we pray for your mercy. Lord, have mercy. Help mercy, Lord. Holy Spirit, move in this place tonight. The God who established the destiny of his people. And when God established a destiny, no demon, no satanic power can stop that destiny. And I pray tonight as we join hands, hearts to pray. The destiny God has apportioned for you in this year 2021. It shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will not enter the year 2022 in deficit of destiny. Amen. Everything God has a portion to do in your life this year. I pray destiny will be fulfilled in your life. Amen. Destiny will be fulfilled in your life. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. The God of destiny. The one who decrees and it comes to pass. The one who speaks that no one can change it. We thank you, Lord. Help us tonight, Holy Spirit. As we pray concerning the fulfillment of our destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. You may take your seats in the presence of the Lord. Thank you, praise him. I want to welcome you all to tonight's prayer meeting. I want to welcome those of you joining online. It is my prayer that the destiny God has apportioned for you this year shall be fulfilled in the name of Jesus. Amen. Please turn with me to the book of Georges chapter 13. Georges chapter 13. We want to read verse 3 to 5. And then we will read Judges chapter 16. Judges chapter 16, verse 23 to 30. So we start with Judges chapter 13, verse 3 to 5. If you have it, say amen. amen. The angel of the Lord appeared to Manos' wife and said, even though you have been unable to have children, you will soon become pregnant and give birth to a son. Even though you have not been able to have to be pregnant, please go back to verse 3. I will tell you when to move. You have not been able to have children. You will soon become pregnant. And give birth to a son. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Even though you have not been able to achieve what you want to achieve. By God's grace you will achieve it. Amen. I didn't hear your amen. amen. You will soon become pregnant. You may be barren now. The angel says. But you will soon become pregnant and give birth to a son. Very specific. Verse 4. So be careful. A destiny is declared. The next thing you hear is be careful. Be careful you must not drink wine or any other alcoholic drink nor eat any forbidden food. Five. You will become pregnant the angel repeated and give birth to a son and his hair must never be cut for he will be dedicated to God as a Nazarite 
from that, he will begin to rescue Israel from the Philistines. Praise the Lord. The word of God came to Manos' wife. You're barren now, but you will be pregnant. And you're going to have a son. Be careful. Be careful to observe the things I'm about to tell you. Every destiny God gives to us, there is a pattern of fulfillment. There is an instruction for fulfillment. Destiny doesn't just happen. It follows a standard. It follows rules. It follows principles. So the angel declared that this is what you must do. This is what God is going to do. You're going to be pregnant. You're going to have a son. And on your part, you make sure you don't drink anything hard. You make sure you don't eat anything forbidden. You make sure that this child, no razor touches his hair. Because he's dedicated to God as a Nazarite. He's going to deliver Israel from the Philistine. So this woman received a specific destiny for her child. Fast forward to Judges 16, verse 23 to 30. Judges 16. The Philistine rulers held a great festival. Offering sacrifice and praise to their God. Dagon. They said... Our God has given us victory over our enemy, Samson. When the people saw him, they praised their God, saying, Our God has delivered our enemy to us. The one who killed so many of us is now in our power. Half drunk by now, the people demanded, Bring out Samson so he can amuse us. So he was brought from the prison to amuse them. And they had him stand between the pillars supporting the roof. Samson said to the young servant who was leading him by the hand, Place my hands against the pillars that hold up this temple. I want to rest against them. Now the temple was completely filled with people. All the Philistines rulers were there. And there were all about 3,000 men and women on the roof who were watching as Samson amused them. Then Samson prayed to the Lord, sovereign Lord. Remember me again, oh God. Please strengthen me just one more time. With one blow, let me pay back the Philistines for the loss of my two eyes. Then Samson put his hands on the two center pillars. That held the temple. Pushing against them with both hands. What happened verse 30? He prayed. Let me die. With the Philistines. And the temple crashed down. On the Philistine ruler. And all the people. So he killed more people. When he died. Than. He had during his entire lifetime. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Amen. Now this is a very sad story of the man named Samson. We read from Judges chapter 13. A, a destiny was apportioned to him through his parents. And when we fast forward to chapter 16. 
we see that the destiny was somewhat derailed. Tonight, we will be dealing with prayer points for destiny fulfillment. Someone argued that the graveyard is the most luxurious place on earth. Out of curiosity, people began to question this assertion. The person then further argued that many people die without fulfilling their destinies. And they take it back to the ground. That is why the graveyard is the most luxurious place on earth. Oftentimes, we've had great prophecies about our lives. That we are great people. A holy nation. A peculiar people. We've had great prophecies that we will be rich. We have great prophecies that we will be famous. But often done, often, most of those promises never see the light of day. The rate at which people die these days without reaching their potential or fulfilling their destiny is alarming. And this cannot be removed from the fact that the devil is always at work looking around for destinies to destroy. I pray in the name of Jesus, your destiny, my destiny, is not open for destruction. Samson, God promised that he will be a great man. Delivery of God's own people, Israel. However, the enemy caught hold of him. Before he could fulfill his destiny, the enemy caught hold of him. They said, bring out something to come and amuse us. I pray your life will not be an amusement for your enemies. Amen. You don't understand that prayer. The man who God has ordained to be great. We fast forward to chapter 16. They said, bring something to come and amuse us. At this time, they have removed his two eyes. They've removed his two eyes. Samson prayed and God answered. Because God's objective was to destroy the Philistines anyway. But he prayed a prayer. He said, God, help me one more time. Let me die with my enemies. You will not die with your enemies. Amen. I said, you will not die with your enemies. Amen. You will not die with your enemies. plan of the enemy directly or indirectly to derail God's plan for your life, it will not prosper in Jesus name Amen. the things of the world will not derail your destiny Amen. for the single woman in the house for those of you online, no man will derail your destiny Amen. every destiny waster called man shall not fall in love with you you didn't hear that prayer. Amen. Amen. Destiny wastes us. For the men in the house, the spirit of Delilah will not overcome your destiny. May God give you grace to flee from every appearance of Delilah. In the name of Jesus, Amen. for every youth connected to this service tonight, the negative influence of peer pressure will not derail your destiny. Amen. Every satanic influence over your life is hereby terminated in Jesus' name. Amen. Receive grace to flee 
from friends who will lead you astray. May God grant you wisdom to stay away from bad friends. Every demonic plan to access your destiny through a friend, it will not prosper. Every power or principality that will derail your destiny, they will not prosper. You see, some friends are agents acting on behalf of principality. Some friends are agents acting on behalf of powers. Your parents' labor and investment in your life will not be wasted. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Imagine Manos' wife. Why she was pregnant. She obeyed the instruction. No hard liquor. No forbidden food. Why? Because the baby she's carrying is a child of destiny. She did her part. Until Samson was born. They made sure that no razor touched his hair. And when he started growing, the spirit of God started manifesting in his life. It was all going well until he started encountering destiny wasters. Destiny wasters. Let us rise up on our feet. I want us to pray tonight. Whatever destiny God has apportioned for you this year, it will not be wasted. Amen. Say, Lord, I pray for grace to fulfill destiny. I pray for grace to fulfill destiny. Every prophecy you have said through your prophet, through your word, I decree I will fulfill destiny. I will fulfill destiny. In the name of Jesus. Say Lord. I pray for grace. To fulfill destiny. To fulfill destiny. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We come against tonight. Every power of limitation that derails destiny. I don't know what God has assigned for you for this year 2021. But whatever that destiny assigned to you is, it shall not be wasted. It shall not be wasted. It shall not be wasted. I say you will not enter 2022 in deficit of destiny. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You will not enter the new year wondering what did I do with my life in 2021. Destiny deficit. Say father I receive grace tonight. I receive grace tonight. To fulfill my destiny. For this year, for this year, in the name of Jesus. You see, my brothers and my sisters, destiny that God has apportioned for us manifests in segments every year. Until we go up to God in glory. Every year, destiny manifests at different level. So every year must never, no year should be a deficit in your destiny. Amen, Amen church? Amen. No year should be a deficit in your destiny. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, Father, I come against every power of limitation. Every power that hinder people from reaching their potential. 
Such power will not operate in my life. Such powers will not operate in my life. In the name of Jesus. Say, Father, I decree by your mercy. Every satanic plan that has been sent to disturb me at the corridor of success be terminated. Be terminated. Be terminated. I decree by the mercy of the Most High God every satanic plan that has been sent to disturb me at the corridor of success be terminated. Be terminated. Be terminated. Be terminated. In the name of Jesus. You will not fail at the corridor of success. In case we don't understand this prayer. Please project for me. First Kings chapter 13 verse 8. First Kings chapter 13 verse 8. We we'll read from 8 to 24. Just at the point where you are to succeed, you will not fail. Amen. I say you will not fail. Amen. At the corridor of success, destiny disturbers will not locate you. Amen. He said, but the man of God said to the king, even if you give me half of everything you own, I will not go with you. I will not eat or drink anything in this place. As you are obeying God, every destiny disturber, they will not locate you. In your journey of life, destiny wasters will not locate you. He said, for the Lord gave me this command. You must not eat or drink anything while you are there. And do not return to Judah by the same way you came. Instruction from the Lord that God gave to a young prophet for him to fulfill his destiny. So he left Bethel and went home another way. He was doing well. He was obeying God. He was on his way to destiny. What happened? As it happened, there was an old prophet living in Bethel. And his sons came home and told him what the man of God had done in Bethel that day. Listen. A young prophet came to the city of an old prophet and performed miracle. A young prophet came to Bethel and started fulfilling destiny. And when you begin to succeed, your success will enter people's ears. Now they said, his sons came and told him what the man of God had done in Bethel. They also told their father what the man has said to the king. I pray. Anyone that will hear your testimony. With an intention to wish you evil. May God frustrate their ideas. May God frustrate their ideas. In the name of Jesus. This is very critical. He said. The old prophet asked them, which way did he go? They told him that a young prophet came, performed miracle. A young prophet came, fulfilled destiny. Now the old prophet is looking for him. In the place where others are not succeeding, and you go there and succeed, be careful. You cannot live recklessly. Every lizard crawl on their belly. 
You don't know which one who has belly ache. Watch this. Which way did he go? So they showed their father which road the man of God had taken. Next. Quick. Saddle the donkey. The old man said. So they saddled the donkey for him. And he mounted on it. All of a sudden, the old prophet is nervous. Who is this man that came to Bethel and succeeded in my city? Where I live. If there is anyone who is to perform miracle, it's me. How can you come to my city and succeed? Where is he? Find him for me. Then he rode after the man of God and found him sitting under a great tree. I pray in the name of Jesus. Any power that you tie you down for your enemy to locate you, may that power catch fire in the name of Jesus. May that power catch fire in the name of Jesus. When God says you should move, you will not stop. When God says you should move, you will not stop. Any power that will hold you down for your enemy to use GPS to locate you, that power shall catch fire. That power shall catch fire. In the name of Jesus. They found him sitting down. The old prophet asked him, are you the man of God who came from Judah? Yes, I am. He replied. I pray for you. When people ask you questions with ulterior motive, may God give you the right response. Amen. If I wait the man, I say, why are you asking? Then there's nothing wrong when you use question to answer question. Go back, please. Are you the man of God who came from Judah? Yes, I am. He replied. He blew his cover. Then he said to the man of God, come home with me and eat some food. A few verses ago, the man said to the king, even if you give me half of what you own, I will not take it. I will not even eat at your house. Because God said, you will fulfill destiny. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Come home and eat with me some food. 16. No, I cannot. He replied, I cannot. I'm not allowed to eat or drink anything here in this place. What happened next? For the Lord gave me this command. You must not eat and drink anything while you are there. Your destiny must be fulfilled while you are there. And do not return to Judah by the same way you came. But the old prophet answered, I am a prophet. I am a prophet just as you are. I'm a Christian just like you. I'm born again just like you. An angel gave me this command from the Lord. Bring him home with you. So he can have something to eat and drink. But the old man was lying to him. Why are we looking at this text? At the corridor of success, destiny killers will not locate you. In the name of Jesus. So they went back together. And the man of God ate and drank at the prophet's home.
Then while they were sitting at the table, a command from the Lord came to the old prophet. He cried out to the man of God from Judah. This is what the Lord says. You have defiled the word of the Lord. You have disobeyed the command of the Lord God gave you. Sometimes because we're all believers, we let our guard down. And the enemy can use anybody. Amen, church. And you came back to this place and ate and drank where you are told not to eat and drink. Because of this, your body will not be buried in the grave of your ancestors. After the man of God had finished eating and drinking, the old prophet saddled his own donkey for him. He saddled it for him. What happened next? And the man of God started off again. But as he was traveling along, a lion came out and killed him. His body lay there on the road. And the donkey and the lion are standing beside it. Lion came the Lord sent a lion to fulfill an assignment. The lion brought down the young prophet, did his assignment, and stood beside the body. The lion and the donkey were standing side by side. The lion came to do what God asked it to do. You will fulfill destiny. Amen. It's all about destiny fulfillment. This man was doing so well. The young prophet was at the corridor of success. Before the old prophet deceived him. Let us pray beloved. I don't know what destiny God has apportioned for you this year. But I do know that there are so many destiny wasters all over the place. Tonight we come against every power. Every power that fights against destiny fulfillment. We come against them in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The old prophet deceived him. Deceived him. Every power of deception. Over your destiny and mine. Tonight. We terminate them by the power of God in the name of Jesus. Such powers. Are rendered useless over your lives in the name of Jesus. Every weapon that has been fashioned to distract you at the point of success. Every weapon that has been fashioned to distract me at the point of success. I destroy such weapons in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, Father... I receive grace to reach my full potential. I receive grace to reach my full potential. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We receive grace tonight. Grace to fulfill our God-given potentials. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 
The grace to find your purpose. The grace to fulfill your purpose. The Lord shall restore into your lives in the name of Jesus. My brothers and my sisters. Samson prayed a prayer. Lord let me die with my enemies. It's like. He had no other option. But to die with his enemies. That will not be our portion in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to pray tonight. This young prophet knew exactly what God told him. And he kept repeating it. But somehow he got overpowered by the older prophets. I want you to pray for yourself tonight. Say, Father, Father give, me the power give me the power to stay under the authority of your word. Give me the power, Lord, Father, the power. to stay under the authority, stay under the authority of, your of your word. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Power to stay under the authority of God's word. Whatever the word of God asks you to do, that's what you will do. Power to stay under the authority of the word. Power to stay under the authority of the word. Power to stay under the authority of God's word. Power to obey the word of God. To walk in obedience to the word. Stay under the authority of the word. You will not derail from the word of God. In Jesus name we have prayed. My brothers and my sisters, part of destiny fulfillment is to be relevant to humanity. I pray that you and I will use all that the Lord has endowed us with to serve him and to help humanity. Amen. I pray you will not be remembered for the problem you created. Amen. You will be remembered for the problem that you solved. Amen. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, I will not just come and go here on earth. I will make positive impact Amen. that will help humanity. Amen. You see, there are people who die and their name refuse to die. Physically they are dead but their name refuse to die. And there are people who die both them and their name will die. And that's why we're praying tonight. With all that God has endowed you with. You will serve God and serve humanity. Amen. You 
will not be remembered for problems you created. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Something started well. But when you look at all the chapters that concern Samson, it was one problem after the other. If you say, what do you remember about Samson? You realize that what God ordained for him to do was not done the way God expected it to be done. But you read from story, one minute he's carried the city of the, the gate, the gate of the city. One minute he has gone to fight people. One minute he's entangled with this woman. One minute he's entangled. With, so he's remembered for so many negative things. I pray for each and every one of us. You will add value to humanity. In your old age, you will not regret your life. I say in your old age, you will not regret your life. You will not regret your life. Shout a believing amen. amen. You will not regret your life in your old age. Job chapter 42 verse 16 and 17. Job chapter 42, 16 and 17. Look at the screen. Job lived 140 years after that. Living to see four generations of his children and what? Then he died. Somebody said, then he died. An old man who had lived a long full life. May this be your own story. Amen. You will not just live long, but your life will be full. Amen. They're two different things. In your old age, you will not regret your life. Amen. Say, Father, help me. To live, this life to live this life for your glory. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Lord, help me to live this life for your glory. That I may fulfill my destiny, Lord. Help me to live this life for your glory. My destiny will not be derailed. I will live my life to honor you, Lord. Lord, help me to live this life for your glory. Help me, Lord, to live this life for your glory. My destiny will not be derailed. I will live my life to honor you. Pray, beloved. Pray, pray, pray. Lord, help me to live this life for your glory. Help me, Lord, to live this life to honor you every day of my life. My destiny will not be derailed. When I remember Samson, I feel so sad. The destiny God has apportioned to you will not be derailed. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Psalm 37 verse 3 to 19. Let's look at a few things there. Psalm 37 
verse 3 to 19. What does it say? Trust in the Lord. And do what? Tell your neighbor, do all the good you can. Before you die. <laughs> Trust in the Lord. And what? Good will follow you. In the name of Jesus. He said, then you will live safely in the land and do what? Hallelujah. He says, then you will do what? Live safely in the land and do what? So if you don't trust God, if you don't do good, trust God and do good. All the days of your life, do good. In the name of Jesus. Do good. All the days of your life, beloved, do good. Please don't change it yet. You will live safely. You will do what? Safely. And in the land, you will prosper. Amen. In this Jamaica, you will prosper. Amen. I say you will prosper. Amen. You will live safely Amen. and prosper. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Look at verse 4. Take the light in the Lord. And he will what? Give you your heart what? We're building a case. Verse 5. Commit what? Everything you do to the Lord. To the Lord. Again, he said what? Trust, Trust him. him. And, and what will happen? These days, people are helping themselves before they trust God. It is when they try to help themselves and it's not working. Then they begin to find God. It should be the other way. Yeah. Amen, church. Yeah, amen. He will make your innocence radiate like the, the dawn and the justice of your cause will shine like the noonday sun. Be still in the presence of the Lord and wait patiently for him to do what? Act. Wait what? Patiently. For him to act on your behalf. He said, don't worry about evil people who prosper. Or fret about their wicked what? Schemes. If you read this psalm closely, that is the problem we have today. People don't trust God. They trust themselves. Verse 8. Verse 8. Stop being angry. Turn from your what? Rage. Do not lose your temper. It only leads to... There are so many things today, beloved, that is making people angry. People angry. People losing their temper. And the word of God is saying, listen, stop being angry. Turn from your rage do not lose your temper. It only leads to what? Harm. For the wicked will be destroyed, but those who, again, who trust in the Lord will do what? Possess the land. Next verse, please. Hallelujah. We're going somewhere. It says, soon the wicked will disappear. Though you look for them, they will be gone. The lowly will possess the land and will live in peace and what? Prosperity. Amen. Next verse. The wicked plus against the godly. They snare at them in defiance. And what happened next? But the Lord. Sh Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But the Lord just what? <laughs> Everyone 
everyone plotting against you, God is laughing at them. Because their plans will not prosper in the name of Jesus. But the Lord just laughs. For he sees their day of judgment coming. Amen, church? He sees their day of judgment coming. Next verse. Next verse. Verse 15, please. But their souls will stab their own hearts. That's not where I'm going. 16. It is better to be godly and have what? Little. Than to be evil and rich. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Praise the living Jesus. Say, Father, help me to live my life to honor you in the name of Jesus. Lord, help me to trust you. Lord, help me to trust you. Lord, help me to trust you. All the days of my life. Lord, help me to pursue righteousness. Every day of my life. Lord, help me to pursue righteousness. Every day of my life. In the name of Jesus. Every day of my life. Lord, help me to pursue righteousness. Help me, Lord, to live under the authority of your word. That I may not go astray. Ask the Lord to help you tonight. Wherever you are listening to this broadcast. Lord, help me to pursue righteousness. Every day of my life. Help me to do good. Help me to do all the good I can. Help me, Father. To do all the good I can, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. And beloved... As we live our life under the authority of his word, the Lord will protect you. Amen. The Lord will put failure to shame in your life. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Just like the widow of Seraphat. Your family shall become a reference point yes, for God's wonders. Amen. Just like the widow, as you live your life to honor God, as you pursue righteousness, your life will become a reference point for God's miracles, for God's wonders. In the name of Jesus. Amen. May the Lord put failure to shame in your life. Amen. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. For the destiny you have apportioned to us. It shall not be called short. No demon will derail your destiny. Amen. No principality will derail your destiny. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. May God give us an obedient spirit. Amen. For the most part, Samson was disobedient. Even when his parents told him, Why are you going there to marry? He said, I want that woman. Give her to me. I pray for each and every one of us. The stubbornness of the heart will not derail your destiny. I pray that you will not reject godly counsel. They told him, 
but he refused. His parents told him and he refused. May your life not reject godly counsel in the name of Jesus. Begin to thank the Lord right now. Begin to thank the Lord. Begin to thank the Lord. Begin to thank Him. Begin to thank Him. Begin to thank the Lord. Begin to thank Him. Thank Him. Thank Him. Thank the Lord. Thank Him. Thank Him. Thank Him. Do all the good you can. Thank Him. My brothers and my sisters, I want to say this to you with all passion. Those who do good don't work for money. Money works for them. I pray God will give us understanding. Amen, Amen church. Amen. Do good. If you help people get what they want, you will always have what you need. If you help people get what they want, you will always have what you need. Do good. Amen? Amen, church? You will not work for money. Money will work for you. Amen, church. Amen, Amen church. Amen. I say you will not work for money. As a matter of fact, you will attract money. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Grace to do good. All the days of your life. Grace to do good. All the days of your life. May God give it to you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Begin to thank the Lord tonight. For your destiny. That will not be derailed. The destiny God has apportioned for you. Will not be derailed in the name of Jesus. Begin to thank the Lord. At the corridor of success, your destiny will not be derailed. Thank the Lord. Destiny wasters will not cross your path. In the name of Jesus. <laughs>